<laughs> Hi there. My name is John Stevens. I'm pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we are part of the ELCA. And welcome to Jolly Dollar Store Children's Sermon. I almost went jolly, but because uh, you gesture. But welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text, time to an item from the Dollar Tree or the junk drawer or the kids' room or the garage or the costume arena. You know, we've been doing it. Thank you so much for being here and spending a little bit of your week with me in this way. And thank you for the love that you're sharing with your kids and your families and your congregations. You are rocking it. Yeah, uh, congregations sometimes forget to tell you, so let me tell you, you are rocking it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the work you are doing. All right, this is for the seventh Sunday after Pentecost. And... Um, we are looking at the gospel lesson. We are looking at what I like to uh, like to think about as the jolly or the jester, uh, the the jolly gardener, the jolly planter, the um, the jester. That's because uh, I read this and it's about plant. You know, there was a person that was planting seeds and threw the seeds here and threw the seeds there, and they landed on this soil and they landed on this. And we have a lot of a lot of conversations. We can talk about the type of soil. I want to talk about the gardener. I want to talk about the one who's planting the seeds. I want to talk about this absolutely ridiculous way of gardening, throwing seeds everywhere. And so I love that image of God, that our God is a jester. Our God is throwing love everywhere. And, um, and we all get to be part of that. And then God calls us to do the same, sharing God's love with wild abandon. I know, that doesn't seem very responsible. That seems kind of silly. And our God calls us to do that. It's an amazing thing. So the springboard, funny hat, weird hat, silly hat, costume that you've got on there. Um, uh, the other option, if you don't want to wear a hat, when I'm doing, uh, there's a whole magic routine I do. And in that, um, I talk about the two kids that come up. They were frolicking in the meadow. And then I'm like, do you know what frolicking looks like? And sometimes the kids will say they do, and sometimes they won't. But I love teaching them. And my frolic it looks something like this. <laughs> and, uh, and have the kids do that, and you can have the entire congregation do that. Because God's love... We, we are called to share it with wild abandon, frolicking through the meadows and sharing it in a wonderful way. So that's the springboard that I'm looking at this, the God of ours that, that not only, uh, you know, throw seed everywhere like this weird gardener, but we are called to do the same thing when it comes to God's love and the message of how God's grace is for everyone. So, yeah. All right, that's the springboard. Hoping it can be useful for your own children's sermon. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you for your support of this ministry. It means the world to me. And um, I, that's about it. I hope you have a fantastic week. I hope uh, this helps in your thinking your own children's sermon. And again, thanks for stopping by. We will see you next week. Peace.